Good evening, Place for Life, and thanks for tuning in, everyone. I'm here with Bishop. Glad to have you. Glad to finally spend some time with my dad. Appreciate it, Pastor D. We up here in this hotel room in, in uh, Norman, Oklahoma, and I just want to say how much I love Place for Life and the work that Pastor D is doing there, and, and um, God is good, and I pray you guys are having a good, a good evening, huh? Absolutely. I know everyone's probably having a good week. Listen, Sunday was a powerful day at Place for Life. We preached a message called It's in the Trust. And uh, I just pray that you're having a good week. And I pray that you're putting your trust into practice. One statement that we opened up with on Sunday morning is that trust is the greatest expression of faith. Really, yeah. trust is faith enacted in uh, I remember Jesus on the boat in Mark chapter number four, falling asleep after he told the disciples, let's get on the boat and go to the other side. And of course, they faced a storm that the disciples certainly did not see. Yeah. And they went and woke Jesus up and, you know, told Jesus, hey, you know, there's a storm that's going <laughs> to take us out. And Jesus woke up. Of course, he calms the storm, but he asked this question, where is your faith? which literally translates as, do you trust me or why do you not trust me? Wow. And I just want to remind you that even in those seasons where we don't see God's hand at work in real time in our life, it does not mean that he has vacated our ship. He's still with us. And he foresaw any obstacle, any circumstance. Go ahead uh, and preach, man. Yeah. That we, that we go through. Um, God is never going to point us in a direction and, and us not get to the destination that he pointed us to. And I know that sometimes it gets uncomfortable and sometimes yeah. we wonder where his hand is at. But I just want to remind you to trust him. He's still there and I promise you're going to get where you're going. I know Bishop has some a lot better insight on trust than I do. I and I asked him if he'd share with I us. I don't know if there is any better <laughs> insight than that. Uh, but speaking of sharing... Share this right now. Hit your share button right now and share it with uh, your friends. Is that that's incredible? You know, when Jesus said, "You know, where's your faith? Why why aren't you trusting me now?" Mm -hmm. You know what what shift did the storm shift your trust? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, so where where is your faith? This is is the question asked by the disciples. Um, you know, I remember when Paul wrote to his son Timothy, and he said. Uh, I am persuaded that he is able to keep that mm. which I have committed. Oh, yeah. Right? Yes, Unto sir. him against that day. And the word committed there in the Greek literally means trust. All right? Yes, sir. So he is able to keep that which I've entrusted him with. Mm. So you got to believe in the preserving, protecting power of God. That's what trust is. You know, I was thinking about. Paxton. Paxton is a that guy has no fear. <laughs> and I remember you was at the house one day and I had him up on the island in my kitchen and I kind of was right there and I said, Come here, Paxton. And he just fell into my arm. Well, I took a step back, mm -hmm. which means now for him to get to me, he's gonna have to jump off that island into my arms. And I said, Come on, Paxton, jump. That fast, that boy jumped off that island and it caught me by surprise and I had to catch him. But you know what? He totally trusted it. Yes. He trusted that Paul Paul was going to keep him. Yes, sir. And I just want you to know, just like those disciples needed to trust him that he was going to keep them. Mm -hmm. The circumstance did not dictate his preserving ability mm -hmm. or his keeping ability. But he can't keep what you have not committed. Mm -hmm. That's good. Right? Yes, sir. So if you hold in it yourself, then you're going to have to deal with it yourself. Yes, sir. So it's a powerful exchange to say, God, I give you the situation. Mm -hmm. I give you my life, and I trust you with it. Amen. So there we go in Proverbs 3, right? Yes, sir. He says, uh, what's the verse say? Uh, trust, trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord in all your ways. Acknowledge him. Yes, sir. And he will make your path straight. Mm -hmm. And... I want to encourage all of you. There's a connection. Trust gives us straight paths. Mm. 
Isn't it true in even relationships where there's mistrust? Yes, that's right. The relationship's always doing this here and this here. Yes, sir. But when there's total trust, it's smooth sailing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Think about it. No matter what the storm's doing. Yes, sir. He's sleeping. Yes, cause sir. Because he knows he's got what's on the boat. Oh, yes, Because it's sir. committed to his direction. Yes, sir. Now, I just want to tell all of you, share this. <laughs> Hit that share button right now and them thumbs. <laughs> Hit them thumbs and them hearts. But, you know, and how beautiful is it? You know, and I know we've heard it preached a hundred times, but it's still good. The storm didn't wake him up. Mm -hmm. The wind, the water, none of that woke him up. But one child, mm -hmm. one disciple saying, do you care? Mm -hmm. Woke up immediately. Mm -hmm. And you know, I encourage all of you. One of, I didn't know you preached that Sunday. That's yes, powerful. Sir. Yes, sir. I want to encourage you with Pastor Dustin. Put your trust in God. Amen. And in all your ways, acknowledge him. And he will make your past the straight but remember lean not to your own understanding, understanding right amen so that's good stuff yes sir trust him this week place for life yeah you know uh i also wanted to take a moment and remind everyone about this weekend that we have coming up listen Ooh. this is like super week yes yeah, super week pastor ron carpenter what can you say about him and we're grateful First I talked all, to him today. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. we were at lunch, and uh, he called today and um, told me how excited he. They're coming in a little early. They come in Friday. Yeah. So that they can hang out. He's bringing some of his, of course, hope and one of his sons with him, and he loves San Antonio. He loves Place for Life, man. Yes, he does. And I, for him to take time out of his schedule, I've, I've gone very close to him over the last five months. Mm -hmm. He's become a close brother to me. And uh, I know his schedule probably better than anybody. Yes, sir. For him to take this time to be with us this Sunday, he and Hope. Yes, Go sir. Ahead, Saturday. Saturday at 930. Ladies, y'all pack that house out. Invite some friends. Bring your girlfriends with you. <laughs> Saturday morning at yeah. 930. It's going to be an awesome time. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, at 1015. Now, listen, we're still having In the Word at 9 o'clock. I can't wait to be with you all at 9 o'clock for In the Word. And then 1015, Pastor Ron Carpenter is going to be in the house. It's going to be a powerful move of God. I'm excited. Invite your friends. Get there early. And let's have a great move of God this Sunday. Uh, Bishop and I will be back in town tomorrow. We're going to hit the road, head back to San Antonio. Uh, but, Dad, thank you for – sorry. I'm, I'm, no, no, you're good. You're good. Uh, I was just going to interject one more thing. Don't forget Wednesday, first Wednesday. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'm up here in Norman and uh, been preaching up here. At, at uh, Harvest Church, but um, Jim, Pastor Jimmy Smith's church is also in Norman. Yes, sir. And he's doing our first first uh, Wednesday. Yeah, first first Wednesday. Yes, sir. Fe so go ahead. I was gonna say February seventh, yeah. and that's gonna be a, like a big service. You know, it's like it's gonna be like revival mode. Oh, Pastor Jimmy's gonna come in, preach, prophesy. I know what he's preaching to. Yeah, this man carries a a, a, a heavy anointing. Yep. He carries a deep word, revelatory word. Yeah. He has a prophetic anointing on his life as well. It's going to be a powerful service next Wednesday night. It's going to be a great week for Place for Life. It's going to be an amazing year for Place for Life. Yes, it is. Super week, man. I like the way y'all yes, called that. Hey, and uh, really, I, can I just caveat yes, it? It's just hit that share button right now. Yes, sir. <laughs> Listen, girls, Hope was just preached at you know, their new church. It's Jubilee now in San Jose. And she had ladies' night out on a Sunday night. Just kind of, hey, bring your girls out and let's have, you know how many women showed up? 1,036. Wow. 1,036 women in that sanctuary for just a ladies' night out. Wow. At her conference a few months ago, almost 4,000 women. Wow. And so, you know, she's... She's, she's doing her thing right now. Yeah, she's, she's in a hot, doing her thing. hot demand, or what do you call it? She's a hot item right now. Yes. I don't want to be saying somebody else's wife is hot. But anyway, <laughs> I hope it's going to be in the house. And uh, she's going to bring the word of God. And it's going to be super anointed, 930 Saturday. 930 Saturday 10, morning. 15, Pastor Ron Carpenter on Sunday. Yes. And then Wednesday, 7 o'clock, Pastor Jimmy Smith. Yes, sir. Super week. Yes, sir. And go Eagles. Go Eagles. Can I say that? Don't wear your Patriots jersey to church. <laughs> are y'all doing Jersey Sunday? We are. Jersey Sunday. Oh, wow. Wear your football jerseys yeah. Sunday. 
Listen, don't forget to share this. Also, don't forget to give. There's a give button right there on your screen. I know we don't have midweek service this week, but let's let's bring our time. Hey, I trust still. I trust y'all too, Place for Life. I trust you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So get on there. Get yes, on there. Sir. Well, I want to tie it off. Bishop's been working. I want to say thank you, Dad, for for hanging out with us this evening. I can't wait to see y'all this weekend. Y'all keep us in your prayers as we travel back to San Antonio tomorrow. And uh, we love you, Place for Life. Success to you. Success.